Hi, welcome back. We're in Jeremiah 48. And I'm just going to say a quick prayer that the Lord, may you join me. Father God, we ask that you, Lord, bless this time with you. We ask that we use it to grow in you, that we trust in you, that we read your word and understand it as life-giving word, as true, and as something that can be a foundation for us. And I thank you for the blessing of it. In your name, I pray. Amen. 48. Against Moab, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Woe to Nebo, for it is plundered. Kerjathayim is shamed and taken. Thus the high stronghold is shamed and dismayed. Let me get comfortable. I'm going to do that again. This is against Moab. Woe to Nebo, for it is plundered. Kerjathayim is shamed and taken. The high stronghold is shamed and dismayed. No more praise of Moab. In Heshbon, they have devised evil against her. Come and let us cut her off as a nation. You also shall be cut down, O madmen. The sword shall pursue you. A voice of crying shall be from Horonim, plundering and great destruction. Moab is destroyed. Her little ones have caused a cry to be heard. For in the ascent of Luhith, they ascend with continual weeping. For in the descent of Horonim, the enemies have heard a cry of destruction. Flee, save your lives, and be like the juniper in the wilderness. For because you have trusted in your works and your treasures, you also shall be taken. And Chemosh shall go forth into captivity, his priest and his princess together. And the plunder shall come against every city. No one shall escape. The valley also shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed as the Lord has spoken. Give wings to Moab that she may flee and get away, for her cities shall be desolate without any to dwell in them. Cursed is he who does the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed is he who keeps back his sword from blood. Moab has been at ease from his youth. He has settled on his dregs and has not been empty from vessel to vessel, nor has he gone into captivity. Therefore his taste remained in him and his scent has not changed. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I shall send him wine workers who will tip him over and empty his vessels and break the bottles. Moab shall be ashamed of Chemosh, as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel, their confidence. He's saying they haven't met this. They haven't had to endure something like this. So he will bring it to them. 14. How can you say we are mighty and strong men for the war? Moab is plundered and gone up from her cities. Her chosen young men have gone down to the slaughter, says the king whose name is the Lord of hosts. The calamity of Moab is near at hand, and his affliction comes quickly. But mo on him, all you who are around him, and all you who know his name, say, How the strong staff is broken, the beautiful rod. O daughter inhabiting Dubon, Come down from your glory and sit in thirst, for the plunder of Moab has come against you. He has destroyed your strongholds, O inhabitants of Aror. Stand by the way and watch. Ask him who flees and her who escapes. Say, what has happened? Moab is shamed, for he is broken down. Wail and cry. Tell it in Arnon that Moab is plundered. Like, spread the word. And judgment has come on the plain country, on Holland, on Jaza, on Mephath, on Dibon, on Nebu, and Beth Deblathayim, on Kerjathim, and Beth Gamul, and Beth Mianso. These are all the territories surrounding. <clears throat> what I saw. On Kiriath and Basra, on all the cities of the land of Moab, far or near, the horn of Moab is cut off, and his arm is broken, says the Lord. Make him drunk, because he exalted himself against the Lord. Moab shall wallow in his vomit, and he shall also be in derision. For was not Israel a derision to you? Was he found among thieves? For whenever you speak of him, you shake your head in scorn. You who dwell in Moab, leave the cities and dwell in the rock, and be like the dove which makes her nest in the sides of the cave's mouth. We have heard the pride of Moab. He is exceedingly proud of his loftiness and arrogance and pride and of his haughtiness of his heart. He's speaking about how wrong they have been. Pride comes before the fall, before destruction. I know it all too well. I know his wrath, says the Lord, but it is not right. His lies have made nothing right. Therefore, I will wail for Moab, and I will cry out for all Moab. I will mourn for the men of ker O vine of Sibma. I will weep for you with the weeping of Jazer. Your plants have gone over the sea. They reach the sea of Jazer. 
The plunder has fallen on your summer fruits and your vintage. Joy and gladness are taken from the plentiful field and from the land of Moab. I have cursed wine to fail from the wine presses. No one will tread with joyous shouting, not joyous shouting. From the, from the cry of Heshbon to Elile and to Jahaz, they have uttered their voice. From Zor to Horanaim, like a three-year-old heifer, for the waters of Nimrim also shall be desolate. The one who offers sacrifices in the high places and burns incense to his gods. Therefore, my heart shall well like flutes for Moab, and like flutes my heart shall well for the men of Kir Therefore, the riches they have acquired have perished. So he, he what a heavy heart and a loving God to, to wail and cry for what is meeting the people, and they're deserving of it. 37. For every head shall be bald, and every beard clipped. On all the hands shall be cuts, and on the loins sackcloth. A general lamentation on all the housetops of Moab, and in the, its streets. For I have broken Moab like a vessel in which is no pleasure, says the Lord. For everybody to be wailing the same song, it's almost like everybody's screaming, help. Everybody knows help, right? <clears throat> For I have broken Moab like a vessel in which is no pleasure, says the Lord. They shall well how she is broken down, how Moab has turned her back with shame. So Moab shall be a derision and a dismay to all those about her. Because like you said, nothing like this has met them before in Moab. And they're very prideful and they were bountiful. So this is a big uh, depiction of how he's keeping his uh, word that everybody will meet um, punishment. Um, that's how I understand it. 40. For thus says the Lord, Behold, one shall fly like an eagle and spread his wings over Moab. Kiriath is taken, and the strongholds are surprised. The mighty men's hearts in Moab on that day shall be like the heart of a woman in birth pangs, and Moab shall be destroyed as a people, because he exalted himself against the Lord. Fear and the pit and the snare shall be upon you. O inhabitant of Moab, says the Lord, he who flees from the fear shall fall into the pit, and he who gets out of its pit, out of the pit shall be caught on its caught in the snare. So there's no escaping. And he who gets out of the pit shall be caught in the snare. For upon Moab, upon it, I will bring the year of their punishment, says the Lord. Those who fled stood under the shadow of Heshbon because of exhaustion. But a fire shall come out of Heshbon, a flame from the midst of Sion, and shall devour the brow of Moab, the crown of the head of the sons of Tumult. Woe to you, O Moab, the people of Chemosh, perish, for your sons have been taken captive, and your daughters captive. Yet I will bring back the captives of Moab in the later days, says the Lord. Thus far is the judgment of Moab. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye.